Good morning. Welcome to another vlog. You're at a very strange angle because I'm using my iPhone to start this vlog. My vlogging camera is downstairs and I wasn't, I wasn't thinking. I didn't bring it upstairs and I was just, you know, showering, getting out of the shower and I started to put on the uh, self tanning. Sorry, I have this mitt on. Let me get that off. Uh, the self tanning hydrating facial skincare from Sicily. I mentioned this during my Beautylish gift card event and I was talking about so much that video was so long. I didn't really get into like into these self tanning products and I'm using it. So I figured I'd talk about it a little bit more. The reason why I love, love, love the Sicily self tanning uh, skincare facial and for body is because, you know, you usually put self tanner on just like clean, dry skin. So you're not putting any of your skincare on and you know, I think you can do it after you like, you know, wash away uh, the self tanner and then it starts to develop all that kind of stuff. And then you can put your skincare on. But I, I just, I feel like my skin gets like so dry if I use like a real typical self tanner. Not that that stops me if I want a really golden bronze, but um, I really like this Sicily because it is just a very soft tan. It just gives you a little bit of color to your skin. It's not like a deep, deep bronze effect. And I just love that it's basically a lotion. It is absolutely skincare. And so when I just put this on, I don't feel like my skin is getting dry. I don't feel like I'm just kind of like waiting to rinse it off to put my skincare on. I put this on and I'm good for that day. And for me, that's why I love not just this product, but the body one, which is basically the same thing. It's like, you have to put it on bare, like clean, dry skin. And you know, if you use body lotion or whatever, it's like, I don't like using typical tanners because yeah, they just feel, they just feel really, really drying. And I feel like all I'm doing is standing around just waiting for it to like be rinsed off. So anyway, I just squeeze a little bit out on this mitt. This is the facial one. You can just use your hands for the facial one, but you know, I think we've all had self bronzer, self tanning accidents when it came to our hands. Like sometimes I think I'll wash it and I didn't and I'll just have like weird streaks. Anyway, so now I just use a mitt for everything. Um, and I just massage it in, that is all. And I just, you know, wash my face in the shower I didn't put anything else on. And if I'm not doing like a full body, which I'm not doing today, what I will do is use this and just bring it down my neck and pretty much down my chest and of course the back of my neck. I'll kind of graze my ears too a little bit just so that doesn't look too strange, like, you know, like a line or whatever. But again, not like this bronzer is super duper bronze. Any mistake you may make while applying this, it's not gonna be super obvious. But I just wanted to show you guys that since I did mention it um, in that video and I, yeah, I was like editing it and I'm like, I really didn't talk about like what, aside from it being like a nice gentle bronze, I didn't really talk about it being like skincare and that actually being like the benefit and what I love about the Sisley um, self tanners. So anyway, um, I'm just gonna get ready for the day. I actually have a call <laughs> with my car insurance adjuster still dealing with car stuff. So I'm gonna be doing that. But tonight we are actually meeting up and going out for Samantha March's birthday. So Samantha March, Lori, Risa and I were going to a steakhouse uh, this evening and very excited. So I think I'm just gonna be working today, you know, vlogging here and there, and then we'll be getting ready for dinner tonight. So I will see you guys in just a bit. Hey guys, I'm downstairs uh, in my bathroom that's off of my office. I was actually just about to put makeup on, but I wanted to show you the tanner now that it has, oh God, it's so hard to tell. Let me see if I can get better lighting. Now that it's developed a little bit, I do feel like I look a little bit tanner. Hold on. I don't know if you can see, do you see the line here? This is basically where I stopped. <laughs> so here's my pale skin and then here is the tan. I think that's pretty clear. Hello, I just, God, I just meditated. I didn't get a chance to meditate this morning. So I thought, let me get it in before I have to start getting ready to go out. And I'm trying out a new eye mask where it has like the bumpers basically here. So it really blocks out light. And I just wasn't thinking. And now I have these huge marks on my face. This is gonna make uh, applying makeup really interesting. But anyway, I'm sitting here in my filming room where I have all my makeup and I thought we'd pick out some makeup for tonight together. I don't know what I'm wearing. <laughs> 
I have no idea what I should do in terms of makeup, but you know me, probably something light, probably something natural, maybe a smokier eye, neuter lip since we'll be eating. We're going to Harlow Steakhouse. Did I mention that? That's up in Summerlin. I've been there one time before and it's great. I love it. I think the food is great. The restaurant's really beautiful. The service was great. So I'm hoping for a similar experience tonight. And yeah, okay, so let's let's start. You know what I, I feel like putting on is the La Mer Radiant Skin Tint. I, I just love that skin tint. And I think I have it out on my vanity. Yes, I do. I have it out on my vanity, so we'll use that. We can use the new Givenchy Concealer. That one I thought was really nice. I didn't have any problems with that. That is sitting out on my concealer. Um, I probably won't do any um, powder, uh, bronzer, and blush and highlights. So I think I want to, do I want to do cream products? Is that, is that the route I want to go? I think so. I think I'll go with my Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate in Intensity 05. I'll use that for contour bronzer. And then, oh, actually, I haven't used my Biscuit. Maybe I'll use Biscuit. Sorry, Tom Ford. Okay, <laughs> I gotta go with Biscuit because I haven't used this in a while. And then let's see, for blush, I definitely want something, uh, you know, neutral. If I'm gonna do kind of like a nude kind of look, I'm kind of liking bronzer for blush. Cause I feel like every time I use a blush, I'm like, oh, it's not nude enough. And I can use a Bobbi Brown. This is the illuminating bronzing powder. So it has a little bit of a sheen to it. Uh, and this is an Aruba. Maybe I'll do that. That seems like the mood I'm going for. A little more glowy. Why don't we go Westman Atelier today? The Super Loaded Tinted Highlight. Why don't I use one of these as like a cheek base? So I have Peau de Peche, like a mixture of Peau de Peche and the Peau de Soleil. Let's see, what do we got for eyeshadow? I think I just wanna do like a pretty one and done bronzy color. I have been using my Charlotte Tilbury Oyster Pearl, the Eyes to Mesmerize. I can continue using that. And then I do also have Chocolate Bronze, which I never opened. Let's see what this one is about. I'm assuming it's going to be deeper than Oyster Pearl. Oh yeah, that's pretty though. Let's pull this out. All right. Oh God, the marks are still there. <laughs> Woo. All right. I'm going to apply the La Mer Radiant Skin Tint. I have it in the shade Light. I'm running late and I can't find a brush right now, so I'm just going to use my fingers to apply this. I'm gonna use some of this Givenchy. I just have a little bit of discoloration around my eyes. I surprisingly look fairly well rested. Now, the Westman Atelier contour stick in Biscuit. Get that in there. Do I want to do the nose? Maybe. Do a little on the nose. All of my favorite cream cheek brushes are dirty with blush, so I can't even fake it. So I'm just going to use that foundation brush that I picked up before to blend this in. Stick blends out so beautifully. I'm going to go in with this Peau de Peche. I did also bring out the Peau de Soleil, but I think that may be a little too bronzy for me. We'll save that for maybe later in the season. Normally I would use the Westman Atelier uh, like buffer brush, but I think that's dirty. I don't even know where it is right now. So I'm just gonna use the Chantecaille buffer brush. I'm just gonna swirl it in here, pick up a little bit of product. Just kind of buff that all over the cheek. On top of the contour a little bit. I just like to get it kind of all over. And just kind of sweep it everywhere. Maybe even throw a little bit on my forehead. And, oh, <laughs> Lori just texted. She's like, is anyone wearing um, dresses or skirt? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm not there yet. I haven't thought about it yet. Um, okay, let's throw on a little bit. What did I just do with it? Oh, the Bobbi Brown Illuminating Bronzing Powder in Aruba. I am gonna use 
use a really big fluffy brush because I just want my cheeks to just kind of be a wash of all of these colors together. So I'm gonna use this La Bouche Rouge brush. This is such a good synthetic brush. I still have those marks on my face. I'm gonna throw in some of my Persona Swipe Up Brow Gel. And then we've got, here's the chocolate bronze again. And then here is the Oyster Pearl. And I'm not doing anything dramatic. Let me go with Oyster Pearl, and if I feel like I need a little something more, we'll go in with the chocolate bronze. So I'm gonna use the Sonia G Soft Concealer Brush. I think I'm just gonna use a little bit of eyeliner. That'll help add a little bit of dimension. Mascara, I think that'll be fine for my eyes. I don't need to go crazy. I've got my Hourglass. It's so weird, it's almost like this pencil's gotten softer um, the older it's gotten versus, you know, harder. Like, pencils usually dry out, but this feels like it's softer. Okay, curling the eyelashes. So, I think I mentioned this, but we're going out for Samantha's birthday. So Samantha just replied, I'm wearing a sequin dress, but I'm kind of extra tonight. And we're all like, well, yeah, it's your birthday. Lips. I've got my Clay de Poe Triumphant Tawny, which is fairly nude, but I also have my Dries Van Noten Cooler Nude Lip Color. I think I'll do that tonight. Let's try that. This lipstick now reminds me of Paris because... I brought this along to Paris, and this is probably the one that, uh, the one lipstick that I used the most while I was there. Love it. All right, now let's get dressed. Let's go upstairs. Okay, first things first. I have checked the weather. <laughs> so, what is the forecast? It is 58, and by the time we're done, it's going to be about 51 degrees. That's pretty chilly here in Vegas. I think I'm gonna wear this dress tonight. I have not worn this in so long. It is an old cos dress from, I think I got it last year. So it's A-line, so it's not, you know, especially uh, flattering, but it did come with a fabric sash, or I can maybe use my double belt from Totem. Let's try that. Sorry, I should angle you guys down a little bit. Maybe it's too stiff for this dress. Maybe I'll just go with that fabric sash. It kind of brightens up the dress as well because it has the pattern that's at the bottom of the dress. It has it on the sash. Okay, how is that? And then, I do feel like I need to wear heels with this. I don't think it would be walking far, so oh gosh. there's a lot of dress and I feel like it's poofing out strangely. Okay, I buckled, <laughs> I buckled this one. I didn't buckle this one up yet because I'm not sure. They're actually, they're, you know, they're fairly comfortable and my picky toe is actually staying in there, which is great because I have really wide feet. But I'm driving tonight. Do you guys like driving with stiletto heels? I can't stand it. I always feel like I'm gonna break the heel off. No, I feel like I've talked myself out of it. I feel like the style is off too. Like this is kind of a flouncy, pretty dress, and these shoes deserve to be with like something a little more like boss bitchy, you know? All right, so we're going with the Prada Satin Mules. These are the ones that I actually got from New York. And I'm gonna bring my Dries Van Noten coat that I absolutely love, that I don't get to wear that often because it's actually perfect for this weather. It's kind of like in between, so I'm excited. I'm gonna wear this. And now for jewelry. I have to put on all my Lucifer rings. Do I maybe want to wear my Chanel pearl? Oops, why not? Let's go for these. Oh, I think I need a necklace. So for necklace, I think with the V-neck, I always like one that's like a pendant because they hang down like kind of in the same way. Maybe I'll do this since I have a pearl. This is that necklace that I got from Allegheny Jewelry years ago and it's got this freshwater pearl just hanging off the side. Oh yeah, good length. So since I'm gonna be gelling my hair back, I should not have put <laughs> all of my rings on because I don't wanna get gel all over my rings. So I've got my Orbe Rock Hard Gel. This is one of my cannot live without beauty products. Then I'm just gonna work that in. 
What do you want to do? Low bun, high pony. Let's do something high because I'm going to be driving and I hate when I have like anything sticking out of the back of my head, including a low bun. I really don't like that when I'm driving because I can't put my head back against the headrest. High pony it is. A little bit of super fine, yes, super fine strong hairspray. Just really shellac it into place. So that pretty much goes with everything. I think the color and the small size, I mean, it's, you know, palladium hardware, but I think it's fine. It goes with the shoes at least, not my actual jewelry. And then, oh, sorry for the mess, those are my pajama pants. Okay, I am ready. Okay, I'm here at Lori's. She said she's coming down. Hi. Hi. Are we ready? Yes. You look gorgeous. You look gorgeous. I love your hair. Oh, thank you. I love it when I you like- I washed it. Put a little- <laughs> I love I when know. you put wave in it. Uh, now, are you, you someone that doesn't wash it often? Every two days. Oh, okay. That's, yeah. that's a good- that's And a I good also cadence. cut it. Okay. Figure I should do that like twice a year. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Okay. You look so pretty. Oh, thanks. I love what you're wearing. I'm ready for Samantha. Now, I'm going to be blasting that LMFAO Shots song. Okay, yes. That's the one they always play at, where do we go, Jing. Oh, yeah. Shots, and it's shots, so hysterical, shots. so I'm going to blast it while we, while we pick her up. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Okay. <laughs> I was like, we have to play shots when she comes out. Yeah, that, that was too good. Vodka soda. Okay. <laughs> My friend bought it for me at the bar. Let's get, let's get the party started. Yeah. Everyone looks so cute. You look cute. Oh, really this good. Dress. Really thank good. you. Thank you. Where's this dress from? I don't remember. Okay. I know. I filmed the OOT earlier and I was like, I don't know where anything's from. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. We, we we all kind of match. Like, cause, like oh, I have the black. pink from her thing. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. I love this. Yeah. All right, yeah. are we ready? Yeah. Ready. Okay, are you drunk? No. Oh, <laughs> this is my first one. <laughs> that would be a problem. <laughs> is today your actual birthday? Yes. Oh, ah, oh yes. my God. Yes. I love it. Yes. All right, yes. let's go to Harlow. Oh, I love this. It's chilly, right? It's so pretty entrance. It's so Oh, good. Okay, okay. now. Happy birthday! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Where's like your, yeah. your sash and your crown? <laughs> Wait, I love how a bunch of us have pink. I know. Oh, oh, I love that. We all decided to do, do pink. pink. I love your bag. Pink. Thank you. Thank oh, Lori's yeah, that outfit. is cute. Oh, wow. My coat. Oh, pink. <laughs> Everyone is so beautiful. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. A lovely time last night celebrating Samantha March's birthday it was so much fun and that Harlow Steakhouse it's in downtown Summerlin if you if anyone is looking for an off-the-strip restaurant I highly recommend service is great ambiance is great the food is wonderful so yeah highly recommend so I thought I would kick off today's portion of the vlog with a fashion haul so there's a brand that uh, I, I noticed on Instagram and I noticed on Net-A-Porter, which is where I placed this order. 
and I've always been really curious about them. I've purchased a couple pieces here and there, and actually someone commented, I think on one of my fashion hauls, if I could kind of talk more about this brand, because in comparison to a lot of the Net-A-Porter brands that they carry, they are relatively inexpensive. I wouldn't say they're in it. They're not like H&M inexpensive, but they're relatively inexpensive compared to a lot of the brands on Net-A-Porter. And so personally, I was curious, this uh, commenter, this viewer who commented, was also very curious about like the quality and like why is it cheaper is it worth it this is one of those brands too that sells out very very quickly so i apologize i ordered these things <clears throat> excuse me i ordered these things a few weeks ago and i just haven't gotten a chance to like unbox them and try them out you know steam them the whole thing so i'm gonna link to whatever i can down below like if anything looks interesting to you however i i don't know if they're gonna be in stock um, but I thought this would just be kind of like a good research haul in terms of like what's the deal with this brand? Why are they relatively inexpensive and you know, how's their quality or whatever? So the brand that I'm talking about, sorry, uh, the brand that I'm talking about is The Frankie Shop. And the one other piece that I have from them is that green nylon. It's like a shacket. Um, it looks like a button down, but it snaps and it has pockets. So I think it looks great kind of as a layering piece, as over like a t-shirt or even maybe another button down if you wanna do like the double collar thing. Um, so I have that. So that's this guy here and it's, uh, it's like a nylon. The only thing I will mention about this, let me see if I can find a spot, is like the stitching is just a little wonky. I hope you guys can see that. Do you see that? It looks like they backstitched here to reinforce it, which is great, but it doesn't look like all the stitches took. So there's just like little things like that that I've noticed. Um, there's this on the collar. Actually, I actually had to snip this loose, not loose thread, but a thread that was like sticking out over here. Yeah, right over here. So I had to trim, I should actually trim it down further. But just like little things like that. But other than that, I think it's okay. This is the inside of the placket of the cuff. And you'll see there's, you know, stray threads here and there. I think if I just went ahead and just trimmed everything, it would look fine. It's not like the stitching is loose, so that's good. But yeah, but just a few little things like that I've noticed on this. Other than that, I think it's been fine. I think the quality has been fine. This fabric is fine. The construction itself is really nice. I think one of the appealing things about this brand, the Frankie Shop, is that they just have very kind of like fashion forward or on trend silhouettes. So let's go ahead and unbox what I ordered and I'll show you them modeled and my thoughts and what I'm returning and what I'm keeping or what's kind of on the fence. So I can't even lift up this box for you because it's, it's fairly large. I ordered a bunch of stuff just to kind of do this research on this brand. Um, but here's the box. They packed everything in um, garment bags, which is really nice. And then I did get one piece from my order sent separately. I don't know why, but it came in its own box. It's just this white button front shirt, a regular kind of point collar. It has one breast pocket here. And then on the back, it has two pleats, one over here, one over here. So it doesn't have the center pleat. It has these side pleats, which I think is a nice detail. And a lot of the Frankie Shop silhouettes are meant to be oversized which you know, I'm a fan of. There is also a Frankie Shop monogram on the left cuff here. It's not that noticeable. It is uh, the same color. And then it does have like a shirt tail hem here. And I did get it in the size large. And this is made of 100% organic cotton fibers. And here is the tag stating that's 100% organic cotton and it was made in Korea. Let me get everything out so I can show it to you in a proper order. All right, so now that I've unpacked everything, I've got three shirts, two pairs of trousers, one coat, and then three blazers to try on. So I think what I'll do is try on this black shirt with these trousers. Let's take a look at how those fit. Okay guys, here is the oversized organic cotton shirt in black. I steamed it out and it steamed really, really easily, so that's good. I have a lot of like cotton poplin shirts that really need an iron. Like a steam doesn't really kind of flatten them out, but this actually steamed out really beautifully, so I do like that. This has a very high, as you can see, a very high slit 
So I like that. It kind of gives it a little bit more of like a modern look. Yeah, it's nice. It's not too long. It's oversized, but I don't feel like I'm swimming in it, which is really nice. This is a size large, and of course I'll have all the information down below in my description box. Uh, but that is the top. Now these are uh, one pair of the trousers that I got. They actually fit nicely in the waist. I have a pretty big gut. <laughs> That's where I carry my weight. And so a lot of times pants will fit everywhere except for the waist. You know, they'll fit fine in the leg and the hip or whatever. Um, and they'll hang nicely. It's just, you know, tight in the waist. But these are actually pretty good. Again, I'll leave all the info down below in the description box. But these are a size large. And I like the pleats here. And I think what I really like about these pants is they're unlined, which I think makes them really great for the upcoming warmer months. But this fabric is really, it has a really nice, subtle sheen to it. Actually, same with this shirt. It just has a really nice, subtle sheen. So it doesn't look um, ordinary, I guess. Like there's a little bit of a, like a luxe kind of sheen to it. It's really nice. It's hanging really nicely. I did notice some stray threads. There's like a few stray threads here, but those just come right out. It's not uh, an indication of like a loose seam or anything. They're just kind of like loose threads. Um, so I think this is nice. It does have pockets, which is always, always a plus. So, so far so good. And sorry, just some details of the pants I wanted to show you now that they're off of me. Um, the backs have this little cutout in them, so I like that. If you tuck your shirt in, I think this always makes for like a really nice detail. It's sort of like a menswear, um, nod to menswear, I should say. Um, it does have belt loops if you do want to wear a belt. And then here's a close-up of the pleats on the top there. Yeah, and some like welt pockets on the back. Nothing I would use. And then it is a zip fly closure. It, there is one button, one hidden button, and then two of these hooks. So you have uh, like an invisible closure here. And then next, I'm gonna try this orange blouse with these black cargo trousers. Really excited for these, I hope they fit. Uh, but let's take a look at these actually on. All right, here is the shirt in orange. Just my collar is flipped up. Same style, just different color. And I didn't roll up the sleeves just so you could see how long they were on me. So I think even if I were to button up the cuffs here and kind of, you know, pull them up, I think they would still just be way, way too long. Yeah, they're just too long, so I'd have to roll them up. And I think I showed this when I was showing the white shirt, but I think you can see it more on the orange shirt. There is this embroidery of TFS, the Frankie shop. It's on all of the shirts. I didn't bother showing you on the black because it was too hard to see. Um, but. Yeah, I do like these shirts. I have to decide whether I'm gonna wear orange. I mean, I think so. It's just, you know, a nice change from the black and the white that I always have. Um, and then I have these cargo trousers on in black. Now these pants are in a size extra large versus the large in the beige pants. And these are a little tighter in the waist than those. So their sizing is not consistent, unfortunately, which kind of makes me crazy when it comes to brands. I'm like, um, can we like, can we, can we get this all together, please? It just makes life a lot easier. Uh, but anyway, they, they fit me. They're just like, they like just fit me. But thankfully these are baggy style, so they're not like tight in the seat or anything. Like they kind of hang over my butt fine. It's just, it's, for me, it's always like in the waist because again, my power center is very full. And then here's the cargo detail. I'm sorry, it's really hard to see things that are in black, but it's just um, like a basic button closure. And they are actual like patch pockets. So not that I'm gonna be putting anything in there, but you have that option. And of course they would have to be shortened. Um, but yeah, I do like these pants and I do uh, like this kind of like modern take on the cargo pant because these are really big, again, for like spring, summer, the whole cargo pant thing. I don't know if I'm ready for like big old huge pockets hanging off of my pants. I don't know if I'm there yet, but I like this kind of, it's very subtle, it's very subtle. So I think, um, I think that's good. So these two pieces work as well. And then I'm gonna just throw this white blouse on on top of the cargo pant. Take the orange blouse off. Let's take a look at how that looks. All right, and here is the white shirt. Same thing, size large, same style as the other two. It's an organic cotton poplin 
And yeah, I really like this too. I really do like this uh, hem here. So yeah, this is a, another great staple. You guys know how much I love my white glasses. <laughs> so another great addition to the wardrobe. Yeah, I really like this one. It hangs nicely. And just so you can see it tucked in, I have it tucked in. If I pull it out too much, then I do get the top of the side, the side slip there. So that's definitely something to be wary of. I usually leave these shirts, I usually leave them untucked. Um, but something to keep in mind if you do tuck your shirts in. And then let's just try on this quilted coat. Okay, here is the quilted jacket. I have it in a size medium large. And the one thing I love about these Frankie Shop ones, they really modernize these quilted jackets, which have been around, you know, forever. But they modernized it with their silhouette. So it's very A-line, it's very oversized, but it's the back that sticks out like this. And I think it looks cute on the models, of course. I don't, I don't think I actually like it on me. I think it looks kind of awkward, <laughs> awkward in real life, but it is really cool. Like, you know, like to take shots or whatever, it does look really, really neat. It does look really modern. I love that, but I don't think I'm gonna wear it. I don't think it's, I don't think it's for me. And just as a reference, I have that H&M one that I wear all the time. I also have a longer one from Everlane. This one is much heavier than both of those. And I like those, or I like these types of jackets because they're light and they're just like a nice extra layer. This is like a warm coat. I would definitely not be able to wear this until next winter here. I mean, I could probably wear this in New York, um, but yeah, it's a little heavy. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep this. I mean, again, I, it's cool. I like this idea. I just don't know if I like it, if I like it on me. <laughs> it's like, it's really, really exaggerated, which I think is really cool. So this I'm definitely gonna have to think on. And then for the three blazers, two of them are the same style. So it is single breasted with two buttons. So let's try on the black and then let's try on this uh, beige color. Okay, now this is the single breasted blazer with the two buttons. I have a black one with three buttons, but this one is the one with two buttons. Let me button both actually. And these really are meant to be very, very oversized. I think the Frankie shop is known for these big kind of like, they're almost like drop shoulder blazers. Um, they're always modeled with like, you know, the sleeves over the hands. Um, I just, I wanted to check them out because, you know, I really do like the oversized look. I think it looks uh, very cool, but there is like a fine line between oversized and just, it looks like it doesn't fit you or it looks really sloppy. And I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I think, I think I would have to get the sleeve shortened. I think the, the long sleeves are kind of taking it a little too far, at least for me. They're just not very functional. I do like this um, double vent in the back. I think that's really cool. That's like a really nice, fun nod to like menswear. And I do like that it is uh, like a wide shoulder, but there's no shoulder pad. So it's, you know, there's the ability for it to dra actually drape over your shoulder. So it doesn't look like it's just sticking out. So yeah, there is like a very kind of deconstructed oversized look to this. I think I just have to decide whether or not I like this as a, a look or if I think it is just sloppy looking. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. So here's the same blazer, but in the lighter brown, like beige color. Yeah, same silhouette. Very, very roomy. <laughs> very oversized. We've got the double vent in the back. I really do like this nod to like David Byrne, but yeah, it's doing the same thing as the quilted jacket, just not as much, you know, it's kind of like bellowing out a little bit. And I kind of, I kind of like that. I don't know. Yeah, play around with them a little bit. But again, please let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I wish you guys were here. We could like talk this through. And just a note on some of the details here. So these are actual buttons, which is nice. Usually it's like, a facade. This is usually just uh, like a quick little placket, if you will, just like a quick vent. And then these are just kind of uh, sewn on top, but these are actual buttons. We've got one buttonhole here, just basic notch lapel. One actual breast pocket here. If you want to put a little, a little hanky in there, you can. Uh, some flap pockets, actual pockets there. 
Yeah, the detailing is definitely there. I have to, I have to say, Frankie Shaw is not letting me down in that regard. And I do like the material that they use. It's not the most, you know, luxurious material, but they do steam out really easily. Um, they hang really nicely. These pants are heavy, like the weight is actually heavy, but it's not that thick of a material, so it's kind of interesting. But everything else has what I would say like an appropriate weight to them. You know with some clothing, you like pick them up and you're like, why is this so heavy? Or the opposite, like this weighs nothing. This is just gonna like blow away in the wind. All of these pieces have like a very appropriate like weight to them, which is nice. And just to show you the inside of these blazers. So this one is lined. It is fully lined down into the sleeves, which is really nice. I don't know if you guys have ever gotten a blazer where it's just the body and then the sleeve isn't lined, and then when you go to put it on, like your shirt gets stuck in and everything. Anyway, I really appreciate that the sleeves are lined as well. And then here is a black blazer, single breasted, but it's got three buttons instead of two. This one also looks a lot boxier, so we'll see if that's flattering or not. So let's try this one on. And here is the three button single breasted blazer. Let me just button up all the buttons here. And this one is not as roomy in the body. It's a little bit more narrow, but it is bigger in the shoulder and it actually has a little bit of padding here. So you get this exaggerated shoulder, which is kind of cool actually. <laughs> I like that. It's got pockets here. We've got this pocket here, the hanky pocket. Again, notch lapel. Sorry, the black, it's hard to see the black, but there's a notch lapel here. Here, let me do this. Notch lapel, there's a buttonhole here. And this is, sorry, my other camera just died. So I'm on my iPhone. Anyway, I just wanted to finish up talking about this particular jacket. So there's no venting on the back. I think that's what kind of keeps this more slender in the body. And then, like I said, there's a little bit of padding in the shoulders. So the exaggerated shoulders are even more exaggerated because they're not drooping at all. And very, very long sleeves. Again, we have an actual real vent with actual real buttons and buttonholes. And yeah, this is fully lined inside as well. So that is it for this try on vlog. I think I'm gonna keep all of the uh, button front shirts, the white, the black, and the orange. I think I'm gonna be keeping the black cargo pants because I like them even though they're slightly tight in the waist, but I think it's fine. Um, I think I'm going to be returning the quilted jacket, which I'm kind of bummed about. I was so excited for that, but I think it's just, it's thicker than I thought. And it's also, it's just huge. Like that back bell is giant. And then when it comes to these blazers, I don't, I don't know. Like I actually kind of like this one the most, the one that I'm wearing, the one that I ended with, with the shoulder pad and the no venting. Um, but the other ones are kind of cool too. I, I don't know. I don't know. I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Oh, and I'm on the fence about the other pair of pants. I do like them. So I'll probably keep those too. But let me know down below in the comment section. I'll probably just go off of what you guys say in terms of the blazers, if I should keep them or not. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next vlog.